Let's see. Jerry Rice needed 137 yards to beat James Lofton's all-time receiving mark of 14,004. Steve Young and slinging Jimmy Harbaugh. Harbaugh the comeback kick. But it was Young to Rice early on. Touchdown for Jerry. And it's 7-3 San Francisco. The next nine of possession, though, a big scare, Tom. Yeah, Steve Young hit by Ray Buchanan from Louisville. Right there, hit him on the left shoulder, knocked him on his right shoulder. Steve Young spent the rest of the day at least in a little pain. Well, they warmed up Gerback, but Young trying to work it out, and George Seifert chewing on the game plan. Second and goal, the Colts four. Watch this now, late second half. Young rolls out, pick Derek LaBelle, touchdown. Young is down, flag on the play, what's going on? Well, take a look at LaBelle right there at the back of the end zone. He steps out right there, comes back in. This was a great call by the official, negated the touchdown. Meanwhile, Young, dazed, can't believe it. 36 seconds to go. Steve will put his shoulder down, and it's stopped at the one by Coriat. Then, third and goal. Steve, put your shoulder down, stopped by ESPN's Trev Albert. No timeouts left. What are they going to do? You're going to run a play on fourth down. You're going to get Doug Bryan in to kick a field goal. But there's a whistle that's blown inadvertently. The refs get together. Mayhem on the field. Young is in shock. Marcia Broder can't believe it. The headlines had killed the clock with two seconds on the clock. Marcia Broder says what? But instead of kicking the field goal, they try and run it. Derek Lavelle runs outside. Albert's first. Jason Belzer makes the play. And Belzer's going bowling. Look, he's going to make a 7-10 split. And Marcia Broda happy. The Colts are up 7-6 at the half. Second half, Harbaugh to Ken Dilger. 6-5, 256. Tight end number two pick from Illinois. He's huge. 15 yards, and the Colts lead 12-7. Niners come back. Derek Lavelle powers in from four yards out, 13-12. Now, they decide to kick, not go for two. A one-point lead and a two-point lead, they're the same. But it's a kick, it's good, it's 14-12. Remember that they didn't go for two. Under seven to go at 17-15 Niners. Harbaugh connects with Dilger again. No one wants to get in his way, Tom. Seven catches for a buck 25. He's alone. 33 yards on the play. That sets up 2.39 to go. Gary Blanchard. Doc Blanchard from 41 yards out. His fourth field goal, 18-17 Colts, fourth of the day. Young and the Niners, though, they're not phased. They can come from behind. They know this two-minute drill like the back of their hand. Young to Rice, five yards. Young to Brent Jones, seven yards. Young to tight end Brent Jones, seven yards, although he's crunched. Doug Bryan, the young kicker, would he have a chance? Next play, Young. Here's the number one pick, Ellis Johnson. Nail Steve was battered all day long. And with Young had to come out, Elvis Gerbaugh had to enter the building. Ellis Gerback comes in and look at this play. He, Elvis, left the building. Young went back. <laughs> then, from the Colt 33, Young to William Floyd, five yards. That sets up a 45-yard field goal attempt from Doug Bryan. It's 18-17 Colts, under a minute to go. The kick is, it's no good. Bryan knows right away, it's no good. Two long field goal attempts in the Lion game and the Colts game, not chip shots, but yet Bryan didn't deliver either. And the 49ers have lost for the second time this year. Major news as the Colts.